guys i just met the perfect person who do art wall frame poetry whatever you need he introduced me to his house right now so come on i want all of y'all to see what i see pick up come on let's see what he say come on in Hi, how are you? Oh, it's nice I'm to meet you. Nice to meet you oh again. my goodness. Oh I'm my so god. Oh. This is the man I've been telling you guys about. So guess what? He can introduce himself better than I am. So shoot it out. Hi, Hi. I'm Stedman Chair. I'm a fine artist, originally from Jamaica. I started my career as a young boy in Jamaica. And I taught art in Jamaica. I migrated to the United States and I have um, continued to study, to work. And I have quite a bit of work and I want to introduce you to my work. Let's go! Come on! This is the first part of his work and you guys can see what I'm seeing. So okay. that's one of his favorite. I think that's his son. Yeah, that's a, it's a painting of my son. Um, Stedman Jr. and um, it's done in oil and canvas. Come and, around uh, here. Next to it is, um, you know, it's a still life painting of a floral arrangement. And the next piece here, this was done in New York at the Art Student League. Mm -hmm. It's done from life. Right next to it are two pieces of uh, still life painting. And over here, the painting of a person posing, she is from Colombia. Wow. So here we have Colombia and we have Jamaican and we have American. Wow. And is this your here, wife? Yes, I, this indeed. picture looks so familiar. That's a painting of my wife. Oh my drawing, God, actually. that's a, a drawing, drawing of your wife. Yes, and she was sitting on the front, front stoop and uh, I captured her and I decided to do it. Presentation. Oh my god, she is yeah. beautiful. She looked the same. I saw a picture of her, you showed me. That's the same face. Exactly. Oh wow. And Come um, over here. Here is a painting of my granddaughter. Well, it's not a painting, it's a this is a, a drawing, and this was done in pencil. Wow. Okay. And at the top is another still life piece. Uh, this piece over here is done at the Art Student League. All of these are done from life. Wow. So there's someone who posed, that's what she does for a living. And um, she's from Harlem, originally. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, I captured her in one of her special poses. Oh, so you're telling me that you do have people come and pose for yes. you to paint? Yes. They don't necessarily have to send a picture or anything. No. If they're in person, they can come and sit, pose or whatever, and you can it capture takes, that takes vision. A, yes, it takes a long time though, but so. Perfection perfect. takes a long time. So I'm loving this. Is this a grandson That's of grandson yours of or? Exactly. This is done in charcoal. Wow. And, um, yeah, that's uh, the charcoal and, 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 and uh, pencil are part of my favorite uh, medium that I work. Oh, so you're telling me you can do pets. You can also do oh, other yeah. stuff. Yeah. I, I do pets or portraits too. You know, mm. We do portraits of people, do portraits of pets. And just about anything. I mean, I've been doing this since I was a, a teenager. So where you do the work? Do you have a part in the house or what? Yeah, where uh, you go and do the currently work? Currently, I, I work from the basement. Oh, okay. We got to see the basement. Okay. Is that okay? Yes, sure. How sure, exciting, sure. guys. How about this one? Yeah, these are two uh, still life. These were going to be art student league too as well. And, you know, these are set up. We set this up and we paint. Oh from the my Everything God! Everything in here is basically done from, you could say, life. These are not live objects, but you it's put it there. Life. So it's yeah, not, it's not done from a picture. This is my representation of what I'm looking at. Wow! This is done in oil. It's oil and canvas. So my favorite color medium is oil and canvas. Mm -hmm. And then black and white is charcoal or, or graphite. Okay guys, guess what? We're going down in the basement. He said he got the work down there and guess what I need to see. So come on, let's dive. start guys, come on, let's see. Oh my God. This is my studio down here. Oh my this is where God. I, this is where I create from. <gasps> and I, right now, these are mainly finished pieces. I but, love this. Yeah. This is perfect for yeah. Yeah, anything. Is yeah, this yeah, your 
your grand? Yeah, baby? that's my daughter and my granddaughter. Oh my and, god! Uh, this was done from a photograph, actually. That was taken right here in this house, and um, I decided to capture on canvas, you know, a painting of her. So. What is? That this is a sitter. Some some you know these are guys who pose for artists. Oh, um, so okay. this was done from life as well, and um, this was also done in New York, and because they go to a place in New York where you know you can get people who does this kind of work, who uh -huh. pose for you, and you work from life. So mm -hmm. most my best representations, my uh, best presentations are you know working from life. Okay. Yeah, but okay. working from photographs are just as good because you can't really get people, people to, to right, right. You know, this 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 piece about three weeks worth of work and then you know, take it home and finish up the background and do other things. But to capture the actual you know demeanor and the person's how he looks and so forth mm -hmm. in life, you got to capture that first. You could always do the background. Now. Oh, I'm in love. Right on top, there's another. It's part of it is shadow based on the thing, but that's another piece as well too. It's a young boy posing, and that's done from life as well. I love my eye capture. This I am so sorry, but I have to show this. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow. And that's also done from life. These are, and this is done sharp coal and canvas, which is something that I've developed myself because this is a medium that I have worked with. Uh huh. And I, when I did my thesis on, uh, you know, my presentation for my MFA, I did a, a you know, charcoal and canvas was something that I, I mean, there are other artists who have done that, but I, I developed a certain way of, you know, finishing it and using certain things to, because charcoal is very loose, so uh -huh. if you leave it on the canvas, it could rub off. Oh, okay. So you have to fix it on the canvas. Now you do charcoal and paper, you have fixative, but charcoal and canvas is a different thing. It's designed differently wow. because of the tooth in the canvas. You know, paper is a little smoother. Uh -huh. Oh, the and, textures are and, different. Uh, and you have different uh -huh. textures based on the kind of um, uh, canvas that you're using, the thickness, the finish. You have different type of canvas and you have different ways of treating it. You know, you could treat it different, different medium. So we're gonna treat it as well. And my canvas is I make them from scratch. Oh, you didn't you go you don't go out and buy. No, I, I make my stretch bars myself. I have a workshop in my garage. Is that a difference when you go out there and buy it or if well, you make it on your own? Well, you see when I make it, it becomes a hundred percent steady. Oh. When you buy a canvas, then you're somebody come somebody, mix it right. with you. So I like action. to do my own thing. I make it. I bought it, the canvas in a, in a raw form, and I stretch it myself, then I treat it. Oh, nice. And okay. And so, you know, um, so when I do that, okay. Uh, when you finish. Okay, when I do that, then, you know, everything that's on there is totally steadman. So when you buy a piece of my work, it's you're all buying 100% steadman. I love that, steadman. <laughs> Based on all these art and everything that you have, do you have other pieces in here? Oh yeah, um, if you, over here, you can notice that it's a whole set of work, you know, that's, these are oh, all behind pieces there. There behind, so they're lined up. Oh, oh that are, is beautiful. Yeah, there are tons of work back here. You know, oh, and, and nice. This, so this is all, stuck all the way back to the, to the wall, wall. Yeah. okay. And there are stocks here, there are stocks over there, there are stocks there, and there are, you know, drawings back here that have probably not even, you know, been um, exposed yet. They're in wow. Books, so. Is that you or your brother? That oh, looks like me. a family yeah, that's, member. That's, that's old, you? That's an old drawing from 1980. Oh my God. That's when you're like a 20 in the club yeah. and everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And that's when you and Miss Joanne got married. Yeah, that's, Aww. That's, 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 uh, that's after the Z Clay um, presentation, which is the way that I, I sell most of my work. So I do not really go right out and sell. Oh. Of, you know, sell my original paintings. 
Nice. I um I rather to do copies of it, but I will sell them if the price is right. Oh, nice. I mean, so these are charcoal and canvas. All these paintings. These are done from life. You know, and I have lots of drawings over here. And based on what I've seen, how would you price it? If well, you get a um, a person of interest come in, yeah. how would you price it? Or what if you get a contract that you have to do a lot of painting for the company or the agency or maybe for somebody's house or that? Well, first of all, you know, it depends on um, size. So if someone say needed say three, four pieces of work to, mm -hmm. to, to decorate a certain area. Mm -hmm. Um, it depends on the size of the area and the size of the canvas okay and the content of what the person needs okay so, so it's all I, about the yeah. person per okay so i'll have to design that now if if say say a, 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 a 18 by 20 piece which should be something like this size okay right? you know with a portrait oh my god that looks right? real <laughs> so so this is done from life as well. All right, so this is usually when I get a, a commission piece of work, right. this is usually the size that I would do oh. more so. And something like this right now, without just the way it's done, if you want it framed and so on, it's additional stuff. But right, right. This would go for about a thousand dollars. Okay, okay. Okay, and that, that's, that's being that's being very um, very conservative of course because you know um coming in the market things are always a little cheaper yes but as my work grows so that is an introductory um thing to to, to get myself in the marketplace how long do you take to create something like this well this this takes me about three weeks working every day okay because you can see the details right, and everything right, right, right. okay so a little less than three weeks okay but but uh, usually we have the sitter for about three weeks, mm. so you can work, you know, with her. If you have a larger piece of work, it's gonna take a longer. It's gonna take a longer time. Yes. So, so um, then you need more than three weeks to do that. What about a photo? What if, um, say, um, I need my husband and I to have this big portrait and have an idea of it, something like this. Oh, and but we're not in New York for some you know we guys we're not in New York right, right, right. but we need something like this we can just take a picture and send to you and you can take that picture with your original background because the pictures are going to have the face structure and right, everything right, right, right. so you would have come up with the perfect background precisely, to match the picture precisely, yes. how long would you take to that picture to like do that. this size this size work well, it would take quite a few weeks to get okay. it done. You know what I mean? And that's good because if I'm going to send you something so um, precious and sincere to me, I need it to be perfectly done. Precisely. I walk and through and I, this captured my eye. Precisely. What I do with this, the, the process, and I've done a few of them, is, um, you know, I would do an outline. I would do a sketch presentation okay. and mm -hmm. I would send that to the client. Okay, to see if I would like it. The client would it. look at it and would decide whether or not it's okay to proceed from there. Oh. At that point in time, a portion of the price that we decide on is presented to me. Oh. Okay? Now, so now I have to continue. The right and away you have accepted the, right, the, right. the presentation. So the next step is I would do the work, I would apply color and so forth, then I send you another picture how it or if look. that is if you can come in person i prefer the person to come in person so we can see it okay okay and maybe i need to see the person too because you know looking Features at a picture is a two-dimensional yes. two yes and yes. looking at a person you have a three-dimensional form and yes. there are things that i need to see mm -hmm. but at that point in time the second point in time would be at that stage mm. and then we would go and we would make the second payment nice and then the third step now is the finished product. So you mail it to us or? Yeah, well, why could we e have... email it to you or, you know, whatever. There's okay. social media now, so that's easy to do. Okay. You know, maybe we could even do a, 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 a you know, FaceTime presentation. I could be standing here like you are right mm -hmm. now. And I could be talking to you and you could be looking at it. 
Nice. You know, so we can use that technology to present the work. Nice. Um, what if I get a pop-up spot? What if I said, hey, I can call you and say, hey, Mrs. Stedman, there's a pop-up spot going on. Can I call you to say, how can you meet me at this location with this amount of pieces? How many pieces do you have available ready right now so we can do a show? I have approximately 200 pieces of work. That's ready that complete. can show? Yes, they can show at any time. Oh, wow. Um, so a couple of them may need you know, a few little changes and additions. Gotcha. But yeah, they're ready. I can get them ready within a few weeks, weeks or so. Yeah. Nice. So and most of my work is, is ready. So. Okay. So my viewers. We're going to ask them, where is he located? Because remember, I told you, I'm not from New York or New Jersey. I just met this incredible guy. So he's going to tell us, where can we see him? Yeah, I'm located in uh, Montclair, New Jersey. I'm in the, the, the tri-state metropolitan, including New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. Nice. So um, from that strain, you know, um, you can get reach me in Montclair. New Jersey. New Jersey. So for this, is this a business business for you or maybe this is just a side hustle for you? Is this register ready business? Well, of course, I have my, my, my business name is China Art LLC and it's registered in New Jersey. And so it is a So it's legit. It's legit. So we ain't playing with you guys. This is legit. So right now, um, so guys, you hear it from the horse's mouth. I couldn't explain it because I don't know nothing about art. But what I can tell you, I love what I'm seeing. So, Mr. Chad here have an IG, a Facebook, and also a Gmail. His IG is art at artslife452, Facebook Stedman Dean Chatter, and his Gmail is Stedman Chatter at no, sorry, Stedman China Art at gmail.com. You get all the information, help me run this because this man is a pro. Bye.